Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade iOS to an older version. Now, iOS 10 is almost ready for release, and the beta version is already available to the public. But there are tons of changes in the new version, so there's a pretty good chance that a lot of folks are going to want to roll back to iOS 9.3. Well thankfully, it's not that hard to downgrade the firmware on your iPhone or iPad, so you don't have to stick with iOS 10 if you don't want to. Now the method I'm going to cover today will keep all your existing data intact, but there's an outside chance that you may experience a bug or two as a result. So try this method first, but if you have any issues, there's a second method that should fix those right up. I've covered that second method over at my full tutorial, so head over there if you end up needing it, but be aware that it'll wipe all your data. But back to the primary method. This one is really simple, and all you need is a Mac or Windows PC. So to start, connect your iPhone or your iPad to your computer with a good lightning cable, because the rest of the work will be done over there. Now the first thing you'll need to do on this end is download the IPSW file for your particular device. This is basically the old firmware that you're downgrading to. So head to my full tutorial for this part, because I have this page linked out clear as day. Next up, just select your device from the list, then you'll jump to the download section. Now the signed files listed here are the only ones that you can still install on your device because older versions have effectively been blacklisted by Apple. This means that you can't roll your firmware back too far, but at least you can get the last one or two older versions. With that in mind, go ahead and click the download link for the iOS version you'd like to install. When that's finished, start by opening iTunes on your Mac or PC. From here, head to the device menu by clicking the little phone icon, then select the summary tab. Next, if you're using a Mac, hold down the Option key on your keyboard, or if you're running Windows, hold the left Shift key. While you're still holding that key down, go ahead and click the Check for Update button. This will bring up a file browser menu, so use this to navigate to your download folder, then select the IPSW file that you grabbed just a minute ago, and click Open. Once you've done that, confirm your choice by clicking the Update button on this last pop-up, then iTunes will take care of the rest. While that's working, you'll see messages at the top of the screen that say stuff like extracting, preparing, or restoring. Then eventually, your device will reboot and it'll be running the old firmware version. From there, you'll be asked to accept the terms of service, then you'll be all set to go. So honestly, it's a pretty simple process, and now you don't have to deal with all the new and weird stuff from iOS 10 anymore. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.